checking yourself. The presence of God. Praise the Lord. As the Lord so done something in somebody's life, I said, as the Lord done something in somebody's life, the Lord has blessed me. I am as bold as a lion. And our Father in the Lord has told us, whatsoever you speak from today, it will happen. Because what's in you is the word of God. And the Lord said, He will hasten to perform that His word. So don't be afraid speak the word. For the miracle has taken place. Do you believe that? Do you believe that the miracle has taken place? Some people are already coming for interview, to be interviewed. Something spectacular has happened here tonight. I said something spectacular has happened here tonight. Because this is the atmosphere of God's presence. And in his presence is the fullness of what? Joy. In his presence is the fullness of joy. Your joy will never cease in Jesus' name. I said your joy will never cease in Jesus' name. While we are waiting for the testimonies, we want to still have our orchestra praise God and worship him. And in the midst of worship, more miracles will be taking place.
same in Jesus' name. But listen to testimonies online first. Somebody that I'm looking on, tell a picture that never touched me. Just say the word, and the word come to pass. I started working. I am Mrs. Chid Yokori. I went to my shop one fair to full money. I found out that I match poison. This thing brought me up to six months. I cannot match them on the ground. Then they took me to a village where they brought many native daughters. Nothing is working out. My husband said that they should brought me back to Lagos. Then I came back to Lagos. I went, they take me to many churches. No one is working. This thing came from the ground like this, coming up, coming up at a stage. It came to my waist. Then I cannot walk again. I cannot even sit down like this unless I lie down on the floor. I cannot sit down. Till one day, one fateful morning on Thursday, my younger brother, who is residing at first act, called me on phone. Say, Auntie, how are you? I say, I'm not fine. The thing is getting worse. I cannot walk. He said, OK. Can you go to, can you go and look for, they are doing one program now, GCK program. Say, I should ask, it must be around where I'm living, which I did that very day. Then I went there with the faith. The man of God started preaching as I was watching. After that, he said, put your hand wherever you know is paining you, as he was praying. Then I placed one of my hand on my waist. I placed one on my knee. As he was praying, 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 let I said, okay, exercise your feet. Check where he's paining you. Then I stood up. Gradually, gradually, gradually. Then I stood up. As I stood up, I moved one of my legs. I saw that I am fit. I moved the other one. I see add weight. I move, move, move again. I started jumping up. Calling my husband, I am walking. I can match my leg on the ground. It was a great miracle that brought crowd to the GCK crusade. I don't know that this leg, I can match it on the ground again. It's more than six months and I cannot walk. Upon all the money I spent, God did it for me without collecting one naira. I'm campaigning from one street to another. That, that God we think that is not working. He's still working. Somebody that I'm looking on television that never touched me, just say the word and the word come to pass. I started working. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The word is still working. It is just the beginning. The word will start working mighty, mighty wonders in Jesus' name. Are you still checking up yourself? The miracle has been confirmed. No going back, no negotiation, the miracle is done. You have received according to the pronouncement of God's word through his own servant. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. We'll have the orchestra still give us some music while we wait for other testimonies. Thank you. 
Praise the Lord. This night I have um, Sister Awoshusi, Ken the Blessing. She has a testimony to share. Let's hear her out this night. Praise the Lord. By the special grace of God, I thank the Lord for how God preserved my life from the valley of death. It happens on Monday morning, I travel down to Ogun State, that part of Ilaro, to drop my sister and her baby at her home. On getting there, well, I never wanted to take her down, but I felt this is not the first time I travel with my car. During my second degree, I travel with my car to Ife every now and then. So I felt Ogun State is just a nearby. I can go and come back. But lo and behold, on my way coming back from my sister's place, the custom officer stopped me and asked me, what, I, what do I have in my boot? I told them, well, you can check. But they told me, OK, calm down, open your boot. As I was trying to open my boot, they told me, oh, madam, don't worry, just go. I entered the car. Two minutes drive. The next thing, I lost control, and I found myself on the valley, on the valley, on the mountain. <laughs> it was not a funny thing. The all of my car was damaged. Only God took control. Jesus did it. Then I remembered on the third of this month, when we came for our combined service, the man of God prayed and he said, we will not die in the valley. And I bless the Lord, I did not die in the valley. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The picture showing in the back, uh, the uh, picture, the video showing in the background was a picture of the wreck of our car that was that lost control and found herself in that situation. But God saved her. Not an hair of her body was touched. No scratch, no harm to her. Praise the Lord. This year, life for everybody. We are not dying now because we have a lot we will do for the Lord. Praise the Lord. We go online. Brakemi, George BA. I was invited for the full redemption crusade that held in Bielsa and I decided to attend because I knew I trusted the man of God coming and I also knew that God had a package for me the way the invitation came to me I knew that it was not ordinary and before then my left back the left side part of my back particularly the middle area and the lower part also was giving me serious challenge. I wasn't finding it funny. It was paining me. And sometimes it also affected this left part of my leg. It was, it was a challenge for me, which some of my colleagues know about. And my husband also knows about it. Now, chronic kidney disease is a very challenging medical condition. And um, it's as a result of a challenge, a pathology, in the structure and the function of the kidney. But there are many factors that could lead to chronic kidney disease. One of them is acute pyelonephritis. And that woman had acute pyelonephritis. That means inflammation of the kidney because of an infection that stayed there for a long while. I think it was up to six months. Now, there are very different symptoms that short persons could have. For her, she had the left flank pain, and that was classical. And then she had the swelling of the legs, which was a complication, and that was also very classical. Going back to the hospital and conducting another test, requesting for a kidney scan, a, um, an abdominal pelvic scan, discovered the kidneys are normal, no stones, no hydronephrosis, perfect picture. Now, doing a renal function test, 
all the parameters normal. That could just be a miracle. So day one I came, day two I came again. And that day two I was, I wrote down what I wanted. I said, Father, this pain that doctor had told me that is connected to my kidney, I just want brand new kidneys. I wrote all that things also. And when daddy, Pastor Kumili prayed, I felt the power of God move through my chest. And I noticed that, yes, God has done it for me. Day five, the left leg was giving me issues. I was dra literally dragging myself to that crusade because my left leg wouldn't just move the way it's, this, it was supposed to move. But at the ending of that crusade, I believed in that prayer that pastor prayed. And I checked myself and I, I ruggedly took my miracle by force. And that was what happened. I was able to move that leg that refused to move properly to the altar. And by the time I came back, pam, God had healed me. The legs were very, 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 very fit till this moment I'm talking to you now. Praise the Lord. I just want to thank God for the testimony, that the, the, the perfection that God has done for my wife, Brackley. My next testimony is that I want to testify that <clears throat> we'll be celebrating the delivery of our twins baby in this home where the crew that are here today will also come and partake of that. You will take your miracle by force in Jesus' name. In fact, you have taken it already. It is well with you. The Lord of heaven will continue to bless us in Jesus' name. We'll have the orchestra to give us for the last time. Just worship God for what he has done. Oh. Hold on. My name is Patience OJ. By the special grace of God, I got married in the year 2014. So ever since then, I've been trying to conceive, or to know I've here. So the year 2017, that was the year I conceived. I lost the baby. I lost the pregnancy. I miscarried the child. So after that incident, I was able to conceive about five times again. I had miscarriages. So the last one happened in the year 2020. So after that one, I was unable to conceive again. After much treatment, I didn't conceive. So my gynae doctor asked me to go and conduct uh, an s test that they call HSG which was conducted and it shows that my two tubes have been blocked as a result of the previous miscarriages that was wrongly carried out. The evacuation was not properly done. So it affected my fallopian tubes and the tube was blocked. This is a classic case of infertility, the worst you can think of. The problem was that her womb cannot carry a baby. Her tubes are blocked. And the doctors confirmed from testing she cannot carry a baby. Zero chance of her being able to carry a baby. When I came back, I was so shocked. I couldn't believe it. I was like, ah, where will I start from? So that January, we had this same program, this GCK program, Total Freedom Through Faith in Christ. I went to the program with the results, with the extra results. The first day, the second day, the third day, if the man of God wants to pray, I will raise the, the extra result up by faith. I will claim it. So at the end of the program, February, that I'm supposed to see my menstruation, I didn't see it. I was not really expecting pregnancy because I didn't, I didn't take any medication. I thought maybe it's delaying. So after some time, I reluctantly took a pregnancy test that came out positive. I went to the hospital to see my gynae doctor. He couldn't believe it. He said I should go to the lab. They should use my blood to carry out the same test, which they did. And the pregnancy came out positive again. The doctor was confused. How come? So at the end, of everything god bless my family through this wonderful program god bless my family with this wonderful boy as you can see he's growing healthy and strong he's a wonderful boy 
and I called him. Anytime I look at him, I call him GCK baby because it is through this program that God is following the Lord to bless my home. May his name be praised forever in Jesus' name. Amen. God did surgery for me. He removed fibroid from me. My name is Favor Alessa. I went to the hospital and they told me that I had fibroid. Fibroid is a common gynecological condition in our environment. It's a cause of infertility, heavy flow, and some other complications. So in the course of going to GCK, as I came back from the GCK, I feel like easing myself. So as I went and eased myself, I saw something big came out. So, and I know that God has already did the operations. God of Kumui, I thank you for doing surgery for me, for removing fibroid from me without going to the hospital. So I praise the name of the Lord. My name is Bethel Otokba. I was born with uh, some health challenges and uh, it's a head sprung disease. I couldn't stool normally, so I went through a series of surgery. I discovered some uh, complications after the surgery. So I discovered that my uh, upper abdomen above my navel was swollen and it made me appear like a pregnant woman. And uh, at my lower abdomen, I discovered that it's hard and I'm having pain all over my and my stomach pains. We went to the hospital. They asked us to run some tests. We run those, ran those tests. When we came back with the results, it was like the doctor couldn't understand what the result was saying. By the time I saw, I noticed my, that my the tummy of my daughter was protruded and swollen as if she was carrying a pregnancy. It always bring tears on my eye, and uh, I didn't know what to do. But then, thank God, when the, the GCK Mina eventually came and we attended it and after it and after some times after the GCK I we noticed that the, the swelling was no longer there. I believe that this global crusade that has been going on for quite a number of time now that um, as many everybody that has been receiving their miracle, not that our pastor our father in Lord is going to other states to touch them, no. It's because they believed. That, that, that is how they get their healing. So I have faith, I place faith in God that I am going to get my healing. The global crusade eventually came and after the crusade, I believed I got my healing. I always answered, amen, amen, when the man of God is preaching and I believe I got my healing. Suddenly I discovered that my abdomen is flat, no pain. And when the doctor came, he saw me, he touched me and he also shouted that what is the meaning of this, that what happened? That, did I go to a prayer house? I told him, yeah, yes, I went to a prayer house. And which prayer house? I told him, um, GCK, that I just ended in Niger State. Say, by which pastor? I told him, Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumi. Then he said, oh, that's the great man of God. That God has done it for you. Go and rejoice. Praise the Lord. I want to thank God because God has already done it for me. I am healed. No swelling, no, no, no emission of fluid again. I am so, so happy. My name is Clintus Kilibekane. It happened that on July I traveled to my village. Getting to my village, my hometown, I fell down and I struck with stroke. So I don't do anything. They rushed me to hospital where they kept me there from July to October. But happened that the October edition of the GCK program came in. My wife was set with death beside me. Along the line, I woke up when the man of God was praying. Then the whole thing went off my hand. Nothing do me. See, I can do anything on my hand. My prayer is that the Lord will keep the man of God for us. And in this GCK program will keep on going on to draw souls into the kingdom of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. My name is Sifan Ichukubo. I thank God for my life. 
It was a very bad situation. He fell sick. You carried him from one place to the other. Before the thing started, I don't know where I am. I don't know where to start. Even to come out and eat myself, they were hard to me. Even the time where they were telling me go to hospital, I don't even know. The thing even touched my head to make me run mad. Even anything, the thing that I'm speaking that time, they come, they tell me, say, I'm speaking like a madman, the time where I recover myself. I can't wonder, me, take you talking all this. But now, I am okay. And now, I thank God for my life, for giving me another chance for me to live. Praise God for my life. Just about to go for MRO scan, we heard about the Global Divine Touch Crusade, and they we connected by special grace of God. Miraculous thing happened. And look at my elder brother. I see so I see a lot of difference. Things that he cannot do before. I saw I saw him doing it. Even uh, he was on the on the on the oxygen before. They removed the oxygen immediately. I want to thank God for this global crusade, divine touch. And I thank God for Pastor Kumui. May God bless him more and bless everybody. the Lord. Let's use this last one to worship God and bless him, the orchestra.
Father, in the name of Jesus, it's been a great night in your presence. And Father, we know that the miracle has happened in our lives. As we go home, we are going with our miracles. You have assured us that the words of authority is in our mouth. And wherever we see the work of the devil, we should throw them down. Uproot them from our lives. And build your will in the name of Jesus. We ask that your spirit will lead us safely home. All the powers of darkness, demons of accident, will clear a way for the people of God in Jesus' name. And we look up to you that after tonight, manifestations of the miracles upon manifestation. And we will continue to share the testimonies in the name of Jesus. More strength upon our Father in the Lord. Thank you, Father, for hearing our prayers. Glory be to you forevermore. In Jesus' mighty loving name we pray. Amen. Go home rejoicing in the presence of the Almighty God.